Hi, it's Bart coming to you with a non-blind quick hitter. So some of you know, Forgate has been sending me samples of their batches. Now, I love this. I love to, if I could get a sample from every distillery, I would love it. Would I be able to get them all on the show? No, I would not. But we do have fans that send us samples, Scott and I all the time. That's what I use to do blinds. Now, what I like about this is um, Forgate is on their batch seven. This is called River Kelvin Rye. Now they say, this is 95.5 from Indiana. That means MGP and I love, I love their 95.5. Um, when that's used, so a lot of places will source that because it is so, so very good. Now they've got an interesting thing and then I'm gonna try this on here. They're releasing this and it's got a, they say SRP, I MSRP is what I'm used to, but for $174.99. But they're releasing it at 113.2 proof, which is their full barrel proof. There's going to be 1,400 plus some bottles. But what's interesting is then they're going to age this 95.5 in two different barrels that'll be released later. They're gonna do a split rye. So they use this 95.5 with their, or split rye, split stave, they should call it a split rye. Um, that'll be around the holiday season. And then the one I'm really looking forward to is they're going to do a second one or uh, with the second batch finished in Ruby Port Rum Cass. And that'll be a 2021 release. So this is a very strong 56.6 ABV, which makes it 113.2 proof. So we're going to sample this. I've got my other um, four gates down there. So, and that's a lot of bottles. I thought four gate didn't usually get that many bottles out, but if you're sourcing from MGP, maybe you can get a hold of some, some better quantity. Ooh, see, it smells good. I love the Indiana MGP. Oh, it's MGP. They're 95.5. Caramel, sweet vanilla, maybe touches of cotton candy. Wow, a little salivation, sorry. Ooh. You got to watch your nose coming in. It's a little hot. I don't have, I think I'll have a little water. We'll see what we can do here. Mmm. Ooh. Sparky, the cinnamons, the oaks, actually, they're a little stronger than I'm used to. Mmm, popcorn, burnt caramels in the finish. Velvety mouthfeel in the finish. I didn't get that on the forefront. Mmm, and that buttered popcorn is the lingering. Still lingering. Ooh, that's nice. Touches of coconut. Wow, there's a whole lot in the finish here. A lot of times I won't get a lot of things in the finish on a uh, on a rye. You'll get a peppery punch, which I didn't necessarily get here. Ooh, that's still there. Wow, isn't that interesting? Hmm. All right, we're just going to do a little bit from the cap. All right, and I slurped some everywhere else. Okay, let's see here. So we've tried it neat. Ooh, still pretty strong. Hmm. It felt a little more, again, that oak is on the forefront, but it's not too strong. Oak moves into the middle a little bit, and that's where I pick up some of the vanillas. I'm curious if this changed the finish at all. Nope, I still get those popcorn finishes, buttered popcorn. Maybe even a little bit of caramel corn. So here's what's interesting. I feel like I had a longer finish neat. And my phone's going wild. Hold on. I don't know who called, but I missed it. Mm. We're going to water it down even a little bit more which is what Scott and I call playing with your whiskey. Neat, 
a little bit of water, and then a little bit more water. Now, if you're wondering, a lot of professional tasters will, will sometimes bring that proof down to even 30, 30% ABV, so or even lower, just trying to tease things out. So don't ever be afraid to do that. You're probably not going to want to sip it at that all the time. One of the shortcuts I like to do with that, especially in the warmer months, throw in an ice cube, and it kind of transitions that way you know, as you're sipping it anyway, which is kind of a nice way of doing it. And then you kind of know, where did you like it? I've even been known to pop a cube out when it's about half done, where I'm like, oop, that's perfect. Mmm. Huh. A little more astringent uh, than what I first remembered, so I would not be adding water to this, I think, at all. Now, that's a, it's a pretty beefy sipper. The caramels, the buttered uh, popcorns are still there in the finish, but I definitely like this one neat. Um, I love 95.5 Rye from Indiana. Um, even at that, the only probably kicker here, but hey, they've been selling out of their bottles. But uh, cast strength is always nice, $174.99. A little bit out of my price range, but hey, if you ever want to send me a big one instead of a little one, I would take it. <laughs> so... Four gate uh, whiskey company uh, sample only, and I know people are liking their stuff, and I like the play. They've had a few samples where I'm like, mm hmm, um, but I love the exploration they're doing, and the fact that this is the base for what's going to be their split stave and then a ruby port rum finish in 2021. Dig it. See you guys. Bye.